It's a game loose. I want the goose, I want the vibe, I want the do say. I hear what you say. YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy C. I mean, back with Couch Talk Episode 5. Damn. We on Episode 5 already. I didn't talk about fear. I didn't talk about living in the present. I didn't talk about being dangerous. I didn't talk about what? Problems. Broke people problems. How they just born. But today. We talking about results, bruh. Results, 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 results. I'm gonna beat it in your head until you remember. <sighs> Let me tell you a story. I used to work at UPS, right? I was delivering packages during the day. I wasn't the driver, I was a driver helper. I was doing that till like five, six o'clock at night. And then at 10 p.m., I would go to the warehouse, the UPS warehouse. And stay until like 3 a.m. And that was the majority of my day. You feel what I'm saying? But when I got my check, I was still not touching a band. I still wasn't touching a thousand dollars. And I'm like, bro, I'm giving all this time to them to him, but I'm still not touching the band. Like, what's going on? That was years ago, of course. But it wasn't until recently that I realized successful people. Don't hyper focus on the time spent on an activity, right? They don't they don't hyper focus on the effort always that they put into an activity and the energy that they put into it. Hear me out. We all know people that work two to three jobs. Some people got to work two, three jobs to provide for their family, put food on the table. Some people got to work two, three jobs. I mean, just because just so they could live the lifestyle that they want to live, but they still not satisfied because those two to three jobs are still not giving them the results that they want. It's still not paying them what they want. Here's a side note. If you work in more than 40 hours a week, that's fine. But you need to understand that it's not always good to trade your time for money because time is the most valuable asset that you have. That's why they say rich people look at money like it's stored time and energy of other people. Let's say you spend four hours a week, five hours a week working on your yard, like cutting your grass, trimming the bushes and all that. A rich person will buy that time back for theirself. So instead of them going out there spending their valuable five hours, they would hire a person and use their time and energy, use up their five hours instead and buy their five hours back. You get what I'm saying? I hope I explained that correctly. But as far as working more than 40 hours a week, exhausting yourself to where you don't have time to even work on yourself. You don't have time to work out. You don't have time to spend with your family. It's crazy. That's the only word I could think of for real. That's why you can't always equate the time spent on an activity with what you get back from that. Because a lot of people spend a lot of time on shit that don't give them what they want in return for it. And it's insanity to keep doing something over and over again, spending so much time on something over and over again, and it's not giving you what you want. Rich, successful, wealthy people hyper focus on results. That's all they're looking at. So whenever they do something, regardless of how much time they're putting into it, regardless of how much energy they're putting into it or thought they're putting into it, they're worried about the results that they get from it. When you watch movies nowadays, right? They'll portray this successful person as a guy that is working long hours. You'll see him in his big office. You'll see him with his shirt undone, tie hanging off. And it's portraying how long he has been in the office for. It's nighttime outside. All it's portraying is that he spent so much time in that office to get the amount of success that he has. But when I look at that, I'm not seeing success. I'm seeing depressed. The majority of the time that he's spending is in the office because he's not around his family. They'll also portray the wife at home with the kids and he'll come in at night, the kids will be asleep and he'll leave out in the morning before the kids wake up. And it's like, that's not success to me, bro. That's not happiness to me, you feel me? 
If you're successful, I believe you should be happy and enjoying what you're doing. When I think of a person that's really living that, or when I see a person, I'm like, yo, yeah, he's, he's doing it the right way. They on the beach with the cocktail on the side. They working. They got their little laptop with them. You feel me? But they on they in the sand. They they looking at the water. Or they in the penthouse with everything that they got. They family. They probably hop on the laptop, hop on the phone call real quick. But then they back to doing whatever they want because they're not spending so much time in the office. They're not spending so much time just working, 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 working. And when you see successful people, you kind of be like, damn, like, he got it easy. He not even really doing nothing. Majority of his time, he, he traveling. He just doing whatever he want. But that shows you that there's things out in this world that you could do that's effortless, that you can spend less time on and still be successful. That's what I want. It's not lazy. It's being smart. That's why they came up with the saying, work smart, not hard. It's not really saying, yo, don't work hard, just just do the bare minimum. No, it's saying, yeah, work hard, but not too hard to where you focus on the quantity and not the quality. I want y'all to ask somebody that work two, three, four jobs. Are they happy? Are they exhausted? Are they spending time with family? Do they have time for themselves? I want y'all to ask them these questions because that's not true success. I have yet to meet a rich person that got rich off of working at a warehouse, Wendy's, and Foot Locker. You feel me? Or name a better job. Name three better jobs. I have I have yet to meet a person that got rich off of working three jobs. They probably they probably worked three jobs and then invested and then got rich, but Nine times out of 10, people ain't doing that. It was always that one product that went crazy that just set them over the top. If y'all go take anything from this, don't hyper-focus on the time spent on activities all the time because you could be doing too much and it's not producing you the results that you want. Only focus on the things that gives you the results right away. And sometimes those things could be effortless. Sometimes you will get greater results by just spending a couple hours creating content or trading or selling a couple products. Then you going to work for 40 hours, 40 plus hours a week. Once you understand that time spent, meaning you spending a lot of time on things, does not mean that you deserve the money that you think is supposed to come with it. That's when your life will change. Work smart, not hard, bro. This Couch Talk episode five. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all comment down below. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, please.